about Rejuvenex. And then we're going to do a couple of common um, Q&A, things that we've been seeing come in through the airwaves that we're just going to address. So it's going to be a great night and a really informative training. I know that we have Dr. Mike with us. Dr. Mike, have you joined us? Yes, I have, Woodson. How are you doing? Oh, I'm good. How in the world are you? Very good, except for my seven-year-old wanting to learn how to s surf. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can only imagine how exhausting that must be. She is a riot. Absolutely. Oh goodness. Well, wonderful. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and advance to the next slide so that we can just get this show on the road and I am going to let you take it away. Absolutely. So there's this product that's part of the core weight loss program that I hear on a fairly regular basis, clients, customers, and the occasional patient, and understand I'm in Central Florida, a lot of my patients are older retirees, and they're basically telling me, listen, I don't drink regular coffee anymore, I drink decaf, so you know, if this thing has caffeine, do I really want to use it? And that's why I started the section with Rejuvenix, or I don't drink coffee, why do I need it? Now, to fully understand, why you need something like Rejuvenix and how important this is into the, in the entire program. The next slide shows us a few key points of what it is that we're trying to do and trying not to do. So we've already explored some weeks ago the word hangry, uh, being simultaneously hungry and angry at the same time and typically it's because of a lowered calorie intake and the mood that goes away because of how miserable you feel. Well, because of what's in Rejuvenix, and we will cover that in a little while, this particular product helps to boost your energy even further. So you don't get into that low energy hangry state. Additionally, it improves the mood as well as the concentration. So again, you avoid being stressed out, being hungry, being angry, and possibly making bad decisions based on your mood. Additionally, and a core component of this program, one of the things that was so almost unbelievable to me when I first looked at this was so many people were losing weight without really exercising themselves to death. And of course, as a physician, I understood at the end of the day, there had to be enough calories burned in order to allow the weight loss. Well, this is what this product does. It helps boost the BMR, basal metabolic rate, without increasing exercise. So here's a strange way of thinking about it, but imagine that you're on a daily basis running five to seven miles, except you didn't put on your running shoes, you didn't change into shorts and a running singlet, and you didn't have to get up extra hours, a couple hours extra in the morning and or schedule it for the end of the day. You're, you're just going through your day the way you normally do. And yet, because of the effect of the supplement, your basal metabolic rate has now increased to the point that the equivalent is as though you were exercising. You're not sweating up a storm. You're not out and running and possibly inhaling all kinds of <laughs> toxins out there but you are in fact boosting your metabolism. And then the third component. I've touched on this several times before. Drug addicts need help. Most of us starting out on this program are in fact addicts. We are addicted to carbs. We are addicted to high stress lifestyles. And most of us are addicted to one form or another of a stimulant. I have so many folks say that, well, I don't really drink coffee. And then I find out that they're guzzling a caffeine-containing drink throughout the day, whether it's a soda or an energy drink. So these are the roots of the need for this particular product. So in the next slide now, we're going to talk about what exactly is in Rejuvenix. Green coffee bean extract has caffeine and roughly speaking it's about 50 milligrams per capsule. 
if you take all four capsules at one time, that's 200 milligrams of caffeine right there. Now, when I was 25, 26 years old, 200 milligrams of caffeine would not have done anything to me because at that point in my life, I was actually drinking about six to seven cups of coffee a day. At this point in my life, however, I'm down to one cup of coffee a day, so two capsules is basically the equivalent of your morning dose of coffee. More importantly, this is green coffee bean extract. The way coffee is normally processed, you harvest the coffee fruit because it is a small berry, and then you take out the seed or the pit, you dry that up, and then you roast it and then grind it. The process of roasting is what imparts the strength and the aroma and the taste. Unfortunately, it also introduces a fair number of different toxins to coffee. By using green coffee bean extract, we avoid all of that. Secondly, green coffee bean extract by itself has been shown to support weight loss. So it's not just the fact that you're getting caffeine. You're also getting other extracts in the green coffee bean because it has not been heated up and destroyed and burned off or whatever the case may be. You're not getting the extract that also helps with your weight loss efforts. And then we come to the superfruit extracts. Now, the superfruit extracts are acai berry, mangosteen, goji berry, maki berry, Hawaiian noni fruit, and seed buckthorn. Now, that's a whole host of different things, but the short version for the whole group is that they are, in fact, antioxidants. They're phytonutrients, and the reason why we want the antioxidants on board is we want the body as it's going through the detox process, the immune system as it's going through the detox process. We want support for all of these things. We do not want to further stress the system out. We want it to quiet down to allow certain hormones, stress hormones, to be secreted in lower and lower doses. So, for example, acai berry has been known from the Brazilian um, rainforest for the longest time used by the natives, and it was used specifically to help boost their energy. Mangosteen is considered the queen of fruits in Asia, and it has a class of compounds called santhones that are very, very unique in their antioxidant properties. The goji berry is, has been used in classical Chinese medicine, specifically again because of the antioxidants as well as carotenoids and it helps support eyesight from the carotene and the zeaxanthin. The maki berry comes from South America and it was again like so many things almost tribal traditions that led us to understand that these native fruits had benefits to us far beyond what was known with our own conventional fruits. The Hawaiian noni fruit is one of the ugliest fruits out there that I have ever seen. However, it has a bunch of iron, vitamin C, calcium, and zinc, and again, potent antioxidant effects. The sea buckthorn is essentially a very, very good source of vitamins C and E, as well as minerals and amino acids as well as an unusual for fruits, molybdenum and iron. So altogether, these things help support the immune system, reduce the amount of stress, reduce the need for the body to consistently and continuously produce cortisol, the stress hormone, because at the end of the day, too much cortisol makes us want to eat more food, makes us want to eat more carbs, and makes our bodies want to store that food as fat. So we sidestep that whole reaction. And then we come to the last components, and these are the energy benefits. The L-theanine, the green coffee bean extract, the chamomile, and the hawthorne. L-theanine is an amino acid. It's a building block to proteins found in green tea leaves. Now, again, there's a certain segment of the population out there that know that green tea 
has more health benefits than regular tea, number one. Number two, green tea by itself has also been shown to support healthy weight loss. The L-theanine is unique in that it produces a sense of relaxation in the brain, directly in the brain. And, and this is one of the weird things about rejuvenix. You take it and you're alert, but you're not jumpy. You're actually, it's almost like being in a zen-like state. You're alert, but you're not jumpy. Your heart's not palpitating out of your chest. You're not having tremors. You're not sweaty like you normally would be if you had too much coffee. Now, chamomile has been used forever in Europe, in the Western world, for its calming effects, whether it's chamomile tea or infusions. So again, this is designed to quiet down the nervous system so that the energy products do not produce an overwhelming sense of vibration or too much of a good thing. Hawthorne has been used to heal a whole host of chronic conditions because, again, of its ability to produce antioxidants. More importantly, it helps improve circulation and it has a role in lowering blood pressure. Those of you who have noticed that your blood pressure has gone down far out of proportion to the weight loss that you've enjoyed so far, this is one of the reasons why. It helps quiet down the blood vessel wall, the blood vessels start relaxing, the blood pressure inside the blood vessel goes down, and all of a sudden you're enjoying the benefits of the product even though the weight loss has not been that great to date. So those are the components of the rejuvenix. Now we're going to talk about what we have on deck for proof because, again, as a physician, this is one of those things that I've always needed to see. I needed to see the data. I needed to see the information to be able to judge. So in the clinical trials, when we talk about how the company put together a clinical trial and how people had different amounts of weight loss, there was a group of individuals who about the second day threatened to leave the clinical trial. And this is an important thing to understand. Once you design a clinical trial, and once you've figured out how many folks you're going to have on the clinical trial, once you start the clinical trial, you really hate for people to drop out because it messes up your statistical modeling. So this group of folks who were threatening to drop out of the study basically were having cold sweats, splitting headaches, they couldn't concentrate, they were the caffeine fiends who were undergoing withdrawal symptoms, as well as the carboholics, carbohydrate addicts, who could not handle withdrawal on an acute basis. And for that small group of individuals, Rejuvenix was added to the rest of the other products that they were using. Now here's the interesting, so interesting thing that happened. The Rejuvenix subgroup, separate from everyone else who was using everything except with the addition of the rejuvenix, they had the best weight loss results. They were also the happiest when at the end of the clinical trial, folks were asked to fill out survey sheets to indicate what they felt, what they went through, and what they thought of the whole program. So the interesting thing here is if you recognize ahead of time that you are in fact, number one, living in a highly stressed environment, Number two, you are a caffeine fiend. Or number three, you are in fact addicted to carbs. This Rejuvenix is going to be your lifesaver. It's going to be your lifesaver. This is to you what methadone might be to a drug addict. It will help detox you and instead of hitting the wall hard, you can approach it and go around it rather than going splat against it. And just so people understand, I have talked about the fact that you know there are folks out there who are carboholics, and we've kind of sort of joked around with the issue of if somebody came to me and said that, Doc, I'm addicted to this prescription drug or that prescription dr drug, and I need help, I would do my best to find a detox program for them. And yet, when somebody says, well, you know, I'm just a carboholic, we laugh. We think of it as a joke. 
The next slide actually shows that this is not a laughing matter. This is, in fact, functional MRI images of the brain on sugar and the brain on cocaine. The same parts of the brain light up, nearly the same intensity. When somebody says that they're addicted to carbs, they are, in fact, telling the truth. They may just not be aware how truthful they are. But this is the extent of the problem. So knowing then that somebody who's become heavier than they want to be, or even obese, because of a carbohydrate addiction, understand it is not a failing of discipline. It is not a weakness of moral character. It is an addiction. And unless we do something to alleviate the addiction, take the place of the substance, and then quiet down the entire system, we're not helping these individuals. So the next time you take a look at Rejuvenix, look at it and understand that it has a whole host of benefits to you. Yes, if you're a carboholic, definitely. Yes, if you're a caffeine fiend, definitely. But even if you're not, simply calming you down in the day, in the life that we live today because it, it is so stressful, simply calming you down will pay great dividends in allowing you to stay focused on the program, not be pulled in different directions by, oh my god, a cookie, a cookie, a cookie. Your willpower will in fact improve simply because your brain is functioning the way it was meant to function. And that is not like these two images. So that's Rejuvenix. And Dr. Mike, I, I do want to say something because you sharing this with me the way that you did, and I'm so excited that you that we're sharing it with people tonight. It was um, I, it was a revelation for me, um, and I know there are a lot of you listening in right now. I was shaming myself because I was trying to sneak um, sugar in, and here I thought I had the willpower to do all kinds of things, and I did not have the willpower to get off of sugar and upping my Rejuvenex really helped me because I was a full blown addict to the point where I needed a fix well, as badly as I thought I needed oxygen. And some of you might think that's ridiculous, but some of you right now are nodding your head because you know what I'm saying is the truth. And seeing this picture of my brain made me, I went, okay, i got to get a grip. And it really was a wake-up call for me. And increasing my water and increasing my Rejuvenix, I'm now sugar-free for the first time in my life. In my life! And it was That's amazing. being willing to share that with me because I thought maybe there's something wrong with me and all these other people, you know, have the willpower of Zeus and I can't even make it through a day. Um, so I want to thank you for this because you, you know me better than anybody and um, I just appreciate it so much because this really is helping a ton of people. All Good. right. Now we're going to switch gears to the most frequently asked question we have been receiving. And I think some of you are going to be shocked by what you're about to hear. Is this working? Is my grade 28 working? Or am I having a reaction? What's going on? So, okay, Dr. Mike, this is, <laughs> here we go. I'm going to forward it to the next slide and I'm going to let you take over again. Absolutely. Okay, with apologies to the folks that sent the picture in. A picture is truly worth a thousand words. And this is a recurring question that I handle probably at least four times a week, both from the field as well as my clients. They start on the program and typically within three days, Outside limit is five days, but typically within three days, a whole host of things happen. There's a skin rash. It's typically seen in the neck, around the jaw area, the jawline, the forearms. It's usually mistaken for hives or blisters, small blisters, or even eczema. If they're a little bit older or if they have a history of joint injuries, sports injuries and stuff, those same joints will start getting swollen, painful, and they'll be inflamed. They may be running a low-grade fever or 
the individual will walk around and say, I swear I have a fever, I feel like I have a fever. And then when they do te check their temperature, it's within normal limits. There's also typically a brain fog. They, they have difficulty processing information. Um, they get lost easily. They walk into a room and forget why they walked in and they walk back out and again and go, I, I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, there is typically a situation with low energy levels. And, and I hate to use the phrase but because it's so nonspecific, but it's flu-like symptoms. Okay? Now, the reason why I went through all the different listings initially is because within three to five days of starting on the drops, Slendrix and Accelerate, these things may show up. And if they do show up, they're not an adverse reaction to the drops. What's happening actually is toxins that have been stored in fat are being released. And I think we can uh, move on to the next slide. Toxins stored in the fat, because understand, the toxins that we're talking about are the pollution that's in the air. We're talking about pesticide residues on produce. We're talking about if you have a yard and you have the yard man come by and spray the yard, those are toxins. We're talking about heavy metals in the water. We're talking about if you were like I was when I was a kid, I played with mercury on a cold tile floor in the heat of summer. It was very entertaining. Or you've had some dental work done and there's all manner of different metals in there. And on and on and on and on. I have a lady who manages fields and she has to walk through the fields cutting the grass and trimming this, that, and the other thing constantly exposed to the, whatever is sprayed on the grass and or put in the soil. All these toxins you are being exposed to at a relatively low level and in order to keep you alive your body is constantly putting it into the fat tissue to keep it out of the blood to keep it from circulating. The unfortunate part of that is since we continue to be exposed to toxins, the body has to continuously build more fat cells and more fat cells and more fat cells. Hence the situation of, I don't know why I keep gaining weight, I'm hardly eating anything, but there it is. Or, I'm already exercising as much as I can and I'm hardly eating and I still can't lose weight. It's because of the toxins. You start the Slendrix specifically, because remember, Slendrix is homeopathic among the many things that it does. It triggers your body to start looking at the fat and allowing the healthy fat to stay on board but pushing the unhealthy, the sick or the bad fat off of you. It starts burning that fat as part of your metabolic processes. Well, all of a sudden all those toxins have been released. They're released into the circulation and they're released at a fairly rapid rate. So the same toxins that you were being exposed to on a daily basis but at small levels now suddenly shows up in your bloodstream at fairly high levels fairly rapidly. And if these toxins are not removed, just because they came from the liver does not mean that they'll be put back into the liver. There's so much of it circulating, it typically goes into organs that are more metabolically active than other organs such as the skin, the brain, the immune system, which is why the next slide, and this is something that I had used from week four's webinar, I took that same slide and tweaked it a bit, and it shows toxins being released from fat loss. Now, we're talking about toxins in organs and fat cells specifically. They get released because of what the Slendrix is doing. It goes into the blood. Most of it is in the plasma, the liquid portion. It circulates. And understand, every organ is now being exposed to these toxins. Some of the toxins bind to the blood cells. Some of the toxins are pulled into the gut, the gastrointestinal tract by the liver via the bile. And hopefully goes away. But if you look at those arrows, Without Restorix, the toxins released from fat loss move in both directions. They can go from the tissues into the blood and from the blood back into the tissues. They can move from the blood into the gut and from the gut through what's called the EHR, 
enterohepatic recirculation back into the blood, back into the tissues. And like I said, skin is one of our most metabolically active organs. And so the skin starts to show the effect of the toxins. It starts blistering. It starts getting red, welts, hives, blisters, eczema. It's not a reaction to the slenderix. It's a reaction to the toxins that the slenderix is now pushing out of the fat. Okay? So without Restorix, this is what keeps happening on and on and on and on because and you will rapidly achieve a, an equilibrium state where you can't lose any more weight because as fast as the toxins are being released, they're being redeposited if you're not currently using the Restorix. So the next slide shows why Restorix works so well. So that graphic on the left side showing the liver, you have the toxins which are fat soluble, they're being released, they're turned into water-soluble types of chemicals, and they're eliminated either through the kidneys via urine, hence the need for a lot of water intake, or the gallbladder puts it into the bile, puts it into the stool in the intestines. Zeolite, as part of the Restorix, traps the toxins. That model on the right-hand side, every time you see a bend in one of those lines, that bend can bind the toxins. Depending on the portion of the crystal structure, it will bind between 16 or 32 molecules of the toxin. That's a lot because in conventional medicine, we have a one-is-to-one -one situation. One plastic bead used to trap potassium traps one molecule of potassium. Great. You need a lot of plastic beads to handle all the potassium typically found in a kidney failure patient. Now, when we add Restorix to the system, go ahead, Woodson. When we add Restorix to the system, this whole reaction now proceeds only in one direction. With Restorix, they only go one way, and that is out. The slenderix helps release the fat. The fat releases the toxins from the tissues and the organs. It moves into the blood. Ultimately, the liver gets a hold of it and processes it and puts it into the gastrointestinal tract. But you took your Restorix that day. You've been taking your Restorix that day. And now, because the Restorix binds the toxins, they cannot go from the gastrointestinal tract back into the blood, back into the tissues. So, the next few slides have been covered before, and we can click through them fairly rapidly. These were from week nine of the webinar series. When you first start on the drops on the products, you'll get the tight feeding in the abdomen, fullness after eating, a slight distaste, distaste for simple carbs. You'll be eating at a slower rate. You have no sagging energy levels, and you'll have the alertness balanced with calmness brought on by the rejuvenix. The next slide shows signs that you will have early success, and these are, in fact, the toxin release symptoms that we just talked about. The dull headache, the rash, the sensation of slight nausea, swelling of lymph nodes, swelling or mild inflammation of joints. These are, in fact, signs that you will have early success if two things are met. Number one, you continue with the drops with the program, and two, you start removing the toxins with a product like Restorix. Absent the Restorix, if you get to this point on the program but you do not have the detox product, the Restorix, you will very quickly plateau up because those toxins are being released and being redeposited just as fast and your body immediately stops releasing any further fat or what most people end up doing, they think they're having a bad reaction to the products and they stop the products. Now, I have a doctor of oriental medicine whose principal area of interest has been detox. When she was in her undergrad years, she used to mix up batches of chemicals for photo finishing back in the day when we actually used film. And she had a fair number of heavy metals that 
she was exposed to. And she understood that and that's why she went into medicine and she's been detoxing herself on a regular basis for the last, I don't know, 15 or 17 years. She started on Restorix alone and she was unprepared for the rate, the speed at which the toxins were pulled out of her body. She thought she was having an adverse reaction. We had the same conversation and I said, Laura, you're actually releasing toxins so fast because of the Restorix, but since you stopped the Restorix, they have no place to go because she thought she was having a, re a reaction. The toxins have no place to go except back into the tissues, but they're not going back to the tissues that held them originally. They're showing up in your lymph nodes, they're showing up in your joints, they're showing up on her skin. So I said, I want you to find a nice four day long weekend. I want you to use the Restorix at four times the usual dose, those four days. And then I want you to talk to me the following Monday. And she did, about two weeks ago. Number one, all the symptoms that she thought were a result of the product disappeared very rapidly. Number two, although she was not planning to lose weight, she lost three pounds. Because now that the toxins had been pulled out of her, her body said, yep, we don't need three pounds of fat to hold on to the toxins. So whether you're starting on the program to lose weight and the fat is being burned off and the toxins are being released or you're approaching it from the other side, you know that you have a fair number of toxins and you want them removed. The key is to continue using the products and if need be, double, triple or even quadruple the use of the detox product. Anything short of doing that allows the toxins to constantly redeposit and keeps pushing you back on your journey. Now, these are unusual but good results, again, because they will indicate that you're going to have good success. The mild lightheadedness is, again, part of that brain fog. The numbness and tingling sensations, the creepy crawlies on the skin, these are typically seen in folks who have a little bit of B12 deficiency, and the Accelerate takes care of that. Flushing of the skin and the hot flashes or the sense of heat under the skin, these are toxin release manifestations. And again, the worst thing you can do is to stop the products and not use a detox product. If you started the program without a detox product, get on the detox as quickly as possible. If you started the program with a detox product, continue with the other products, but increase. Like I said, double, triple, or in rare situations, quadruple the dose of the Restorix. How will you know what dose to use? Depends on the severity of your symptoms. How will you know how long to use? When you get ahead of the entire process, your skin, your joints, whatever your manifestations were, they will quiet down very rapidly. I am so excited. That was so great. I cannot believe how much you covered so quickly. And, um, and, and especially for people to know that these toxins being released is such a good thing. Just be sure um, that you are up and taking your Restorix. That is something that I will tell you is factored into my life from now until perpetuity. I will always have Restorix factored into my life um, because I understand that was the one thing that I understood was I needed to get that stuff out of me as fast as possible. So I want you to be sure um, to join Migrate28 at Migrate28.com. Many of you have but I want you to go to the Join Free section because you will get all of the training sent to you directly as well as plugging into these live webinars. You're also going to get all of the other series sent to you, and we update those each week. Follow My Great 20 out on Facebook. There are recipes, ideas, incredible testimonials. We're on Twitter, and now we're on Instagram. Send us your photos to migrate28 at Gmail with your testimonials. Go to our Facebook page. Post all those fun, great stories that you have then because 
you guys really don't understand. Your story, whether it's just your first 48 hours or you've been with us for months and months, and some of you, we are now going on a year, and we have people that have lost over 100 pounds. We want to hear from you. Your stories inspire thousands of other people, and it's getting a lot of attention, so definitely do that. But most importantly, we want to thank you for joining us tonight. Dr. Mike, thank you, thank you, thank you so much um, for this training tonight. I know You're very welcome. A lot out of it. I cannot thank you enough. And um, all of you have a super fantastic beginning of your week, and I want to say good night to everybody. Thank you again, Dr. Mike. Thank you for listening, and we will see you next week for the next Migrate 28. Bye.